May is Asian American and Pacific Islander Heritage Month. And it's been 43 years since the first proclamation of an AAPI heritage celebration here in the U.S. And we are marking the month by speaking with a leader in the community working to empower the Asian American community overall. That's right. Grace Pai joins us now. She is the executive director of Asian Americans Advancing Justice in Chicago. Grace, welcome. It's really great to have you with us. Can you give us a bit of the history of AAPI Heritage Month and why it's celebrated in May? So API Heritage Month actually started out as a week-long celebration. And as you mentioned, it only became a month in 1990. And so it's celebrated in May because May marks some important milestones for the Asian American community. It was um, the completion of the Transcontinental Railroad happened in May in the late 1800s. It also was a month when we had the first Japanese immigrants coming to the United States. Of course, the Asian American and Pacific Islander community is extremely diverse. And so it's, you know, I think important to lift up all of the different facets of our community throughout this month. But it was part of a wave of different marginalized communities and racial minorities advocating for federal recognition of our heritage and our and our histories and our cultures. And so, you know, there are similar months like Black History Month um, for other communities. Uh, Grace, your organization, uh, the uh, Asian uh, Asian Americans Advancing Justice out of Chicago, it's 30 years old, uh, just celebrated uh, an anniversary. In fact, uh, can you talk to us about what the organization does uh, and what the hopes are for the next 30 years? Absolutely. So, you know, when we were founded 30 years ago, we kind of started out as a small think tank. We were really focused on policy and research, just helping people to understand the Asian American community. Our mission today is to build power to achieve racial equity. We feel like it's really important to make sure that we're advocating for Asian Americans and issues that impact us through policy advocacy and grassroots organizing. And over the next 30 years, we really want to impact issues like language access, like education equity, to really make sure that Asian Americans have ample opportunities and are uh, fairly represented in our government. And it's interesting because, uh, you know, you think that education is very important. You led the campaign to have Asian American history be required teaching in Illinois public schools, and Illinois is the first state to do so. Do you plan to take this nationwide? And if so, what are the next steps? You know, right now we're really focusing on making sure that this mandate is successful in Illinois. We're working on preparing teachers to teach Asian American history because we know that so many of our educators didn't actually learn Asian American history themselves, right? So there's a learning curve there. But we are extremely supportive of efforts in other states. In fact, New Jersey already became the second state in the country to pass an Asian American history mandate and others are well on their way. So we've been coordinating with advocates in other states because we feel like the momentum is really on our side and education is a great way of addressing some of the root causes of the anti-Asian violence and sentiment that we've seen grow over these last few years. All right, Grace Pye, thank you very much. Thank you for having me.